Hey guys, this video is going to be all about how to make this raised garden bed, but first, this is the first channel, or this is the first video on the Homestead Pursuit uh, channel, so I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Jake. I live here in Michigan um, with my wife, Claire. We recently bought this uh, house that's on two and a half acres, um, and I am interested in general homesteading, um, how to become more self-reliant and also more sustainable. So if any of those things interest you, uh, Go ahead and subscribe to this channel because there's going to be lots of cool content coming on here soon. And without further ado, we'll get right into how to build this garden bed. Okay, so I got everything laid out that we're going to need. We've got two 8 foot 2 by 6s and then one 2 by 6 we cut into 4 foot lengths. We need one 2 by 4 cut into 4 2 foot sections, um, 6 inch two by fours, eight of those. So correction, you're only gonna need four of the six inch two by fours. Two and a half inch cabinet screws and the chicken uh, poultry netting to go around that. I've got, let's see how much did I get? Uh, it's one inch mesh, 50 feet. Um, that's 50 feet long, that's four feet high. And then another roll that is two feet wide 25 feet long and this is also one inch mesh and then we've got eight two by twos here that we actually ripped ourselves out of two by fours because the two by fours were cheaper than buying two by twos so depending on what the prices at the lumber yard are you can look into that too one quick note about the lumber we're using cedar versus pressure treated wood since the cedar will last longer than normal wood but it doesn't give the give off the chemicals that could get in the soil from uh, for the fact that we're going to be growing vegetables in it. You're also going to need a stapler with staples for the poultry netting, and if you'd like the lid to open, hardware for that, and I will show you how I did that at the end. To start, we're going to lay the wood in this configuration here with the 6-inch 2x4s in each corner. I put two screws through each 2x6 into the 2x4. I pre-drilled the holes first and then used a Bessie clamp to keep the two by four flush against the two by six while I was putting the screws in and then repeated this for all four corners. After this, the bottom frame is all done, so I set that aside to work on the lid. So we've laid out one of the side walls here. You're going to take two of the 8 foot 2 by 2s along with two of the 2 foot 2 by 4s and then screw the 2 by 4s onto either end of those 2 by 2s. taken two of the eight foot two by twos and cut them in half so four foot sections and then that's what's going to form the ends of the lid i put one screw in each corner on the end of the lid i put it from the two by two going into the two by two on the side but you could also put it into the two by four so here's what the end looks like finished we got one screw in each corner to hold it together Next we're going to make a support for the middle of the lid, which we need one 2x2 two two at 45 inches and two 2x2s two at 20 and a half inches. So we made a mark at where the halfway point was along the lid, which happened to be about 50 inches. Then we line that up with this side support, putting one screw in the top and the bottom. And then I put one screw in the top of the bottom of that 2x2 two two that's spanning the top of the lid as well. So we've got the lid frame completed, pretty much. It's pretty sturdy, long ways here. But there's just a little bit of play side to side. So we're gonna put some small 45s on the ends. Mm -hmm. 
And again, I put one screw on either end of these support boards using the uh, Bessie clamp to keep it in place. So we got the 45s on. This frame is all set. Next, we're going to put the poultry netting around the two foot wide section. Those are That's going to go all the way around the sides. And the four foot wide section, that's for the top. Um, the 50 feet, that's a little bit overkill. I guess you didn't need to get that much, but... We're gonna use uh, staples and a staple gun, which I didn't explain at the beginning. So you're gonna need staples and a staple gun to put the poultry netting on. So the lid is done, we got all the poultry net on it, so we're going to put the base out in the yard, put this on top of it, and then later on I'm going to put a hinge on it, which I'll show you guys once I do that, and then it'll be ready to go. Okay, so we got the raised beds kind of in a spot where we want them to go. Um, I'm going to put, we went to Home Depot this morning, I'm going to put a hinge and a handle on this lid, and then they'll be all set, fill them with soil, and then this project will be complete. Okay, so I got the hardware installed. We got this four inch handle on the front and then two, two and a half inch hinges on the back. One right there and one down here. Maybe if you guys are lucky, Clark can demonstrate opening it real quick. Moment of truth, bum 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 bum. It works. So that'll be filled with soil and put some veggies in there. So we filled the bottom of our bed with newspaper to kill the grass and then added chicken manure since we had some and finally put some topsoil with compost mixed in. This was a fun, easy, and functional project. I will put the supply list in the description and if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments.